All right, y'all, we're going to go right into questions for wide receiver Jacoby George. You had a heck of a game today. Just um, talk about your thoughts on the way you played and you're you know, able to show, I guess, your talent out there on the field. I feel like it's just the work we put in in the off season and the summer, just us working, it's just, it's just paying off. Like, we got to keep going. Playing with Cam now for three games, it seems like he's getting better almost every single game. Just that, what, what's what's it like, you know, playing with him, being one of his receivers, and, and working with him? I feel like we expect that out of Cam from just training with him on the off season, from just throwing with him like whenever. Like we haven't seen it before. It's just like it's new to y'all, but we been seeing. Which you call, we've seen a lot from this offense in the first three weeks. What's the potential of this group? We could we could be the best offense in the country. We just got to keep working. And just with the depth you guys have a receiver, it seems like Cam Dake will throw to yeah. whoever you guys are going to make plays. Just the That's value right. of the depth in the receiver room and what that, what that, what dynamic that brings. It brings a lot of dynamic because it's like you can't just double team one person. You gotta play true defense. And you gotta like you guys gotta cover everybody. What's that depth like for for competition stuff during the week during practice? Like, do you feel it out on the practice field and stuff too? <laughs> yeah, we all we all know like the ball is gonna. It, you got to share it with everybody, so we all just just lean on the fact of just working and just knowing that when the ball comes, you just got to make a play. Even though you knew though that there was a lot of talent, receivers, running backs, all that, I think it's been at least ten guys catching the ball in all three games so far. Twelve different mm -hmm. guys getting one today. Two guys rushing for seventy, and neither of them started. How crazy is that? It's paying off for everyone. We know it's a long season, so we know everybody can get the ball. So we just got to just do our part, basically. So t tell me a little about Xavier Ristrepo. What kind of a teammate is he, and how much have you really learned from him over the, this year, and let alone before? He's a great teammate. He's not selfish. He's not like, he just, he helps everybody when, when they're in need. We help him when he's in need. So it's like, we all have each other back. The delay, the delay was crazy you guys warm up to stop and warm up to stop like you just heard the coach just say yeah I mean obviously there's nothing you can do about it but like how do you keep how do you not get bored how do you get, how do you how do you spend those two and a half hours you just gotta love the game you gotta know what we're here for and know like we just want to be one to know each every every game can you take me through like um that that catch or the not catch the one he dropped early in the game uh obviously then you bounced back and yeah. you know went off for had a touchdown later just do you think, I'm gonna phrase, maybe like you would have been maybe more in your head about that earlier in your career, and how did you bounce back mentally from having that catch go through your hands? Um, it, you just gotta have the next play mentality. You mess up, you do good, you just gotta next play. It's always the next play. You just gotta do what you gotta do to make that next play. How annoyed were you when they said you stepped out of bounds by like <laughs> on that that long touchdown run? Yeah, I was I was pretty mad. So I had to, <laughs> next play. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you.